If you have not watched the episode before this one, I would suggest going to that first. I'm going to link it up in the eyes so it'll take you right there and then you can come back to this one. Also, I got a new phone in between all this and I wasn't sure how to use it and some of it's a bit blurred. Please forgive me. It's gotten much better since then. I did have a bit of a learning curve. And then lastly, I do have a bit of an announcement that I want to make so be sure to watch till the very end. Okay, let's get into the vlog and I look very sad in this next scene. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sick. We're supposed to go to Planet Fitness for the first time today. Ugh. Our trainer is meeting us tomorrow. I don't want to cancel. I'm just disappointed I'm not feeling all that good. Doug is excited to get started. I'm excited that he's into it and it's not just me. So it's Sunday morning and I'm not feeling any better. So we've canceled with Jamar. I'm so disappointed we're not going because I wanted to do this before Christmas and before the New Year's rush at the gym and all that stuff, but it's just not going to happen. I feel worse than I did yesterday. It's the week of Christmas. Yay. <laughs> okay, it's the day after Christmas. I'm finally feeling healthy. Today is the day Doug and I are going to go see the trainer. So we're going to Planet Fitness. We're leaving in like five minutes. And I will tell you, I am so nervous. I, I'm so worried about getting hurt. I'm worried about being in pain. I'm, I'm being a wimp. <laughs> I, just, I just am. Rachel is going with us. She's actually going to film me a little bit. So I'll get a little bit of footage, but not a lot. Not, not doing a lot there. And Doug is obviously going. Rachel and I went shopping and I did get a couple more leggings. That's a good thing because I can't just have one pair of leggings to wear. All right, here we go. I'm in the process of making some bone broth. Tonight is really the first night that Doug and I are meeting at Planet Fitness and Rachel's gonna meet us too, to work out. And I need to get dinner ready before I go or else we're gonna eat late and I think we'll eat junk food and that kind of negates the whole thing. So right now I'm going to make the bone broth and it's just in the Instant Pot so it'll be done in a couple hours. And I'm gonna make chicken noodle soup mainly because my son likes that instead of rice. I like rice better, but he likes chicken noodles, so I'm gonna make it for him. So I need to go and get, I think the noodles, I don't even know what kind of noodles go in chicken noodle soup. Like, can you do macaroni? Is that gross? I don't know. <laughs> so right now what I'm doing is cutting up the carrots and the onions and the chicken's already cut up, so that's good. And I need to buy the noodles. Okay, so I managed to get everything except I bought 
couple extra things I probably shouldn't one was the toll house cookie dough but that's for New Year's Eve when our friends come over so I think that's okay. I got some egg noodles. My son is going to be very happy I am making chicken noodle instead of chicken and rice soup. I actually think it's turkey. Doesn't matter. He's gonna be thrilled. It is almost five o'clock and Doug is on his way home and I am going to meet him at the gym. So I'm excited. Let me show you my clothes. I did get two more leggings from Athleta. Athletica? Athleta. I don't know. I don't know the name of it. This is the first pair. These I actually, I kind of like. They're a little bit loose at the bottom. It's kind of hard to tell that. I mean, they're not really loose, but sorry, my floor is very creaky right here. And this shirt I got from Old Navy. I already owned this kind of shirt in a different color, a couple of them. So this is very comfortable. This goes really high up which is good. It has a pocket on the side, which I liked. Pockets in the back, which I really don't care about. I'm excited about this. I'm not gonna go too hard today because the trainer, well, I decided I'm gonna have him come and meet Rachel and I tomorrow morning and do a follow-up visit. So I think we're gonna do more like maybe once a month, but I don't know. It's expensive, so I don't wanna do too much but at least to get us started on a routine, I think is good. So I'm actually looking forward to meeting Doug there. I think it'll be fun. Hi, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this. I need to get ready. We're gonna to go to the gym again. Doug and I went last night, as you saw. The trainer, Jamar, texted me yesterday morning and was like, how are you feeling today? Cause he knew we were gonna meet him today. My reply to him was, I'm actually less sore than I thought. And he was like, great, well then we can kick it up a notch. <laughs> Which I replied with, wait, I'm really, really sore. No, I really wasn't sore. But then I went yesterday. My muscles are not sore, my joints are, specifically my hands. My hands really hurt. And that's what my hands do when I overuse them. I mean, if I'm painting, my hands hurt. If I'm doing anything detail work or I'm trying to do anything with my fingers, they hurt because of the arthritis. And so I need to talk to Jamar today, tell him I need more machines that don't cause me to have to hold something with heavy weights. I'm hoping he understands that. I think he will. It's frustrating because I know I could do more. I can't do more because my joints, but it's what I'm dealing with. I will talk to him and see what we can come up with. That's why I'm hiring him is to be able to have an expert who knows all the machines. So I just have to come up with a way of being able to get strength in the rest of my body while dealing with joints that don't function like a normal person. I will admit I'm a bit discouraged about all that. I also can tend to be a bit angry at myself for not getting myself in shape before all this happened with my joints, but I'm not going to look backward because that's anti-productive. I, it's not going to do anything for me. What's the point of beating myself over the head? I have to look forward. Hey. <laughs> I always do that. Go like this. Yes. <laughs> That's because you're 23. It's a 23 thing to do. <laughs> uh oh, the trainer's here. Ah. <laughs> Your facial expression. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yay! We are on our way to go to the gym on New Year's Day, which means it might be very crowded because we're going later. But... Doug and I are going to go to the gym when he gets home from work. I had this thought, it had been quite a few hours since I ate lunch, and Although I'm not like hungry, hungry, I do feel like 
if I went the whole time from now until after we go to the gym and then eat dinner, I'm going to be so hungry. I'm not going to have the energy to work out. So I wanted to do a little something. So here's what I decided to do. I made Brussels sprouts, which are left over from last night. I just put them back in the toaster oven and roasted them a little more. I know they look overdone. This is delicious to me. And then I did a bowl of blueberries. So I got some carbs and I got some fiber and I got, um, there's a little bit of oil on the Brussels sprouts for satiate, satiate, satiality to be satiate. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. So I'm hoping this makes a difference so I'll have the energy to work out, but I'm not like filling myself up with empty calories and things that aren't going to matter to me. So again, thinking through, being mindful of what I'm eating, but not overdoing it. We're about to go to the gym. Well, Doug isn't here yet, but I wanted to show you something that I have sitting on his pillow. So this is a card that I bought. He's gonna think it's silly, but it's funny in light of our current life. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving. We both don't feel like we got much of a workout. Doug's just said we did, but we don't feel that great. I mean, I, we obviously worked out. We were here about an hour. Did about a mile on the treadmill just to warm up and then the machines. I'll be honest, my hands hurting is really frustrating me because I want to do more, but I just, I can't pull the weight. Obviously my legs, I can do all that, but even then my knees, I have to be careful. So it's just doing smaller increments or smaller weights, lighter weights over heavy and then doing more repetition. So, that's the name of the game. It is frustrating that I can't do more, but anything's better than nothing. I look like a mess and Doug is doing dishes, <laughs> so it's loud. But I am going to make dinner. So, well, Doug and I are gonna make dinner. We're gonna do a salmon. He gets ours from Aldi. We do like to put it, put Lowry sesame ginger on it. It's one of my favorites, but it's very full of sugar. So it's not a big coat, but it does flavor it just a little bit nicer. So it's very fun. And then we're going to have roasted broccoli. Yum. It's Wednesday. Doug and I went to the gym the last time on Monday, which was good, but I need to go today. I will admit I'm kind of not wanting to go. I am working part-time, very part-time. I was gonna go to the gym right after work, but then I realized I had a 2.30 conference call or Zoom call. I so wanted to go, oh well, can't go, because I was gonna go tonight as well, but Doug is working late and Rachel doesn't know if she's gonna be able to go. Yes, I could go by myself at night. Okay, I'm telling you all this because I literally want to come up with every excuse under the sun to not go to the gym. So here's what I decided to do. I am gonna to go to the gym. I'm gonna do it by myself. I am going to do my conference call at 2.30. And before I do, I'm going to get my clothes changed out of work clothes and get into my workout clothes. So as soon as I end my call, I will shut things down and go directly to the gym by myself. And I will feel so much better if I just make the decision to go. So here's something else I started doing. I started making a checklist, well, I made a checklist, of all the things I wanted to remember to take to the gym. I realized every time I'd go to leave, there was something I'd forget. I needed a duffel bag, but I wanted a small one. The one I got, I hate it. I'm gonna return that. So I need to find another one, so I'm working on that. But the things I wanted to remember to bring is my phone, which I know seems I'm gonna have it, but I just wrote it down. My lock, so obviously to put stuff in the thing, in the locker room. A towel, my AirPods, my Apple Watch, water, and chapstick. Every time I'd forget one of these things, and when I'm starting something new, and it's many things I need to remember, I will make a list, and I will just keep checking that list until it just gets to be 
muscle memory or memory for my memory or whatever, or I get my bag and everything's in there anyways, and I can just grab the bag. My call ended and I'm at the gym. I'm doing good today. I'm feeling better. I'm learning how to adjust my hands so they don't hurt. Like, so my arthritis doesn't hurt. Um, this one hurts my hands, I'll show you. This one, this was to grab here and pull up. And you can see that we have it on a very high thing. I think it's a 20. But it hurts because I have to hold this with my hands holding it. And then I bring it in this way. Each machine shows you what muscle group it does. So it's really helpful so I know like if I'm not feeling it in that muscle, I'm doing it wrong. Okay, I did it. I did the whole workout by myself. It was an hour and a half, but I also take my time in between. It's not like I'm rushing between things. And I try to do cardio for a half hour and then weights for as long as it takes. I'm learning to adjust my hands so that they don't hurt throughout the entire thing. And afterwards, literally the first day we did this, or like the second day, I could not pick up my phone the next day. I mean, it was that <laughs> My hands were so sore. So yeah, that wasn't fun. So I have to adjust for that because obviously I have to use my hands. I'm proud of myself. I don't know, I feel like crying because I don't know why I was scared to do this. I really was. I was scared because I thought I would be judged. <laughs> Even though their little mantra or motto is no judgment zone. But literally, there are probably in there right now a half a dozen women who are my age and of them, more than half of them are way overweight. And there's, uh, there's all ages and so, I just don't feel it anymore. I'm like, we're all just doing our thing. We're all just trying. So if you're not going to a gym because of that, like you feel like you're going to feel so judged, Planet Fitness seems to be a good one. I think they're all different. Mine is amazing. Like so stinking clean and, and just, just, and this isn't sponsored or anything. Wow. That would be great to be sponsored by Planet Fitness. I'm excited and I know I'm in the honeymoon phase. There's going to be a time when I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I'm going to have to just really dig deep. Going forward for my Midlife to Fit Life series, I am going to be extending the time in between. When I first started, I did it like every other week I had a video. I really do need to extend them and I know that that makes some of you sad. I will be including more vlog type of videos where I am going to be talking about my journey. As it happens in the vlog, you will see references to either what I'm eating or going to the gym or bike riding or some kind of health related part of my life. But I might not do so specific midlife to fit life episodes and things like that. Here's why. I kind of have to protect myself a little bit. It is very hard sometimes to put yourself out there for criticism, for others to watch you going through one of the most difficult things to go through, losing weight and getting healthier. If you've never had to do it, you would not understand that, but it's very hard on you emotionally. And it's very hard to put it out there. And I never realized how hard it would be. I'm okay with putting it out there to a point for all of you because I know that it encourages because it would encourage me to watch somebody else going through it. Some of it I do need to protect myself as far as being able to emotionally handle going through things by myself. Like not with other people's influences, not with other comments and things like that. And you guys are all so sweet most of the time. I get those occasional ones where somebody criticizes, which it, it's part of being a YouTuber. It's part of the whole thing. I get that. When you're going through something that's emotional and trying to lose weight is very emotional, then it just doesn't help. And so 
I will be limiting how much I put out there for you. If you want to see more about my journey and things that I'm talking about and things that are interesting me, please join my Mindful Health Facebook group. It's always linked in my videos. We have, I don't know, about 3,500 women in this group. I am on there a few times a week and sometimes I talk about what I'm going through. Sometimes I talk about inspirational things. Sometimes I commiserate. You will get much more of me in that group. So I encourage you to join that. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. God bless.